Hello everyone. Today I am going to give the final tips to score good marks in class 12th mathematics board exam. So let us uh, go through the tips before maths exam. So first complete the entire syllabus from uh, NCRT and uh, CBSE has published the official sample paper and based on that a detailed blueprint of the question paper exam examination format and chapter wise distribution of marks prepared. You should be very familiar with the blueprint and the question paper pattern. And now as the question paper or of the board exam is always based on NCRT. So therefore complete the entire syllabus from the NCRT class 12th mathematics textbook part one and part two to understand the concepts of each and every chapter, right? Uh, but you should know the uh, blueprint question paper pattern and the mark distribution of all the chapters based on the official sample paper. I will give the link of blueprint in the uh, description box also right now you have to maintain a separate book or a4 size paper for formulas theories and methods because mathematics subject it's all about formulas theories concepts and you are always suggested to keep them handy uh, uh, for example i'm giving one example integration integration a boss are formulas hai. if you write all the formulas on one paper a4 size paper it will be very easy for uh, you it will be very helpful for you while doing last minute revision right so that such type of practice you can do in all the chapters the unit which carries more marks you have to give more time to practice right uh, for example uh, determinant chapter it's a uh, based on official sample paper it carries more marks so you can give more time to practice for that particular chapter like that uh, you can uh, identify with the help of blueprint and you can practice and you can give more time to practice for particular that chapter. Now after completing the entire syllabus from the NCRT uh, book then you complete my minimum level material okay so I have not uploaded till now but I will upload uh, within two three days and then go through any of the author like RD Sharma, RS Agrawal and uh, um, it gives a broader view of questions to be asked in the paper. Moreover, it provides more questions to the students to do practice. After completing the, completing the revision work, solve CBSE official sample paper uh, which were for board exam which was published by CBSE and it is available in uh, uh, CBSE website also. Even I will also give the link uh, in the description box. Right Now, uh, one should start from section E that is four marks question then section D section C section B section A last one mark question or you can follow first five marks question then four then three then two then one uh, because uh, if you uh, follow this pattern agar ek do question should be gaya to vaise, uh, you should you have to you should uh, practice in that way that you have to complete the paper in uh, um, before three hours okay so for that i am going to give some time management uh, um, for each every type of question section wise so let us start with the one mark question okay one mark question total 20 questions are there 18 general mcq and two assertion reasoning based questions so uh, maximum two minutes one to two minutes maximum two so total 40 minutes there are two five marks questions so uh, two to three minutes maximum three minutes so 15 minutes Three marks questions. There are six questions, so three to five minutes. If you take five, also it will uh, uh, it will take 30 minutes. Last five marks questions. Three seven to ten minutes. So seven minutes be agar aap lete hai, to 40 minutes over. Uh, ten minutes. Uh, three case study questions. Ten to fifteen minutes. So fifteen maximum. So 45 minutes. So all together 170 minutes plus 10 minutes revision time. Total 180 uh, minutes. So you uh, try to attempt all my sample paper uh, uh, with the using this time management and I will give the link of the uh, sample paper website blog page also and uh, already last Sunday I have published one paper and every Sunday I am going to uh, conduct uh, uh, sample paper test. So my target is to complete 15 sample papers along with the answer. So you can fix your time for each sample paper and you try to complete in three hours, including reading time. So if you practice in this way, I'm sure you will definitely complete in your paper, complete your paper in two and a half hour. So doing enough practice of sample papers will definitely boost the level of confidence of the students. 
so practicing the sample papers also teaches the concept of time management to the students it will definitely help you in other subjects also for time management with respect to time management i am sure that if you practice in this way this exercise will help you to complete your board exam in two and a half hours right so now uh, this these are the tips you have to follow before exam now during exam first 15 minutes reading time is very very important so question paper with full concentration use the first 15 minutes reading time carefully and effectively by going through the question paper at least twice and make you have to mark all the questions which seem easy which seem difficult and uh, difficult questions you have to leave them for to attempt at the uh, last and uh, first attempt those questions in which you are sure means which is easy for you but start from uh, section a to a or you can uh, if you are not comfortable with case study questions you can start from d all right but a e ko attempt karne ke baad karna hai now you have to understand the worth of each questions never spend too much time that is 5 to 10 minutes on two marks i suggested two marks question uh, 3 to 4 minutes uh, or 2 uh, to 3 minutes theek hai so 5 to 10 minutes if you are going to uh, spend so it will hamper your time management so you will not be able to complete your paper so if you don't know the solution for a particular question leave some space for that particular question and move to the next question right so this is very important because many students are uh, wasting their time in particular sec uh, question so answer should answer paper should be neat and clean rough work should be done on the same page by drawing a margin do not cut the rough work if you could not get the answer partial marks may be given for some uh, time uh, work done avoid overwriting sometimes what happen ki aapne rough mein kiya hai but you uh, uh, you are not able to write uh, you are not able to fair it because of lack of time sometimes it may happen so partial marks marks may be awarded for that rough work agar cut kar diye to fir wo bhi nahi milega so use pencil and scale to draw the figures never draw a figure with the use of a pen so don't leave any question unattempted write down anything you related uh, means you know about that related topic about the question even if it is wrong there is no negative marking so attempting a question even if you don't know the answer completely will not hurt right so agar aap e uh, back side se uh, e to a ki taraf aate hain to a mein sirf mcq questions hain and mcq mein koi steps nahi hai there is no steps to write in mcq you you have to write the options only so it will not take that much time agar paper chhut bhi raha hai to you can attempt uh, uh, those questions right uh, bahut kam time samay mein attempt kar sakte hain now never lose your patience during the exam if you do not know the answer to any questions do not lose your patience after completing the familiar questions take a long breath and think about the concepts in all that particular question this will definitely help you to recall some steps of that or some formula of that question right now after completing your paper the you have to revise so revise 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 it's great that you get done with your paper before the time but do not leave the exam hall just yet take a breather relax and start going through your answers double check your calculations making sh sure you have not committed any silly mistakes always remember that once you leave the exam hall there is no way to get back and see your answer paper so that is why kuch bacche kya karte hain exam hone ke baad turant chale jate hain they are waiting for uh, completing their paper and they simply leave the exam hall but don't do that you revise and uh, check twice right so don't leave the answers uh, easy questions till then kuch bacche pehle difficult uh, questions attempt karte hain i have seen over uh, the years of teaching mathematics i have noticed this very common tendency of students to attempt the harder questions difficult questions right from the beginning start with easy questions start with easy questions get warmed up and you will find that you can go through the question paper a lot more smoothly than before this will help you finish the paper before time and reduce the likelihood of making silly mistakes if you start from difficult questions it will consume more time also and you will not be able to complete your paper you will do you will in a rush to complete the paper definitely 
uh, in that rush you may make uh, some silly mistakes also so that is why first attempt easy questions because you it will take less time so time thoda difficult question ke liye bachega zyada to us samay bhi aap usko attempt kar sakte hain right so now the next one is over preparation is a big problem i have noticed many times that the students see similar questions that they may have subsequently committed to memory and solve them without going through the problem statement right uh, so there is no need to memorize math at all it is one of the most logical subjects out there simply follow the steps method and you will be always arrive at the right answer so these are the some uh, tips uh, before maths exam or during maths exam so uh, please uh, follow you try to follow the time management also i wish you all the best for your future and all the best for your board exam thank you thank you very much